In this one, as the video title states, we're going to create an IAM user and configure our AWS command line interface. The IAM user, so Identity and Access Management user, will give us credentials that we need to set up the AWS CLI. Uh, having the AWS CLI configured will give Terraform the credentials it needs and it'll allow us to decrypt our vault keys and credentials at the end. Now at this point, you should have your AWS account created and ready to go. Again, we aren't covering that because it's really straightforward. So I'm here in my AWS account, and we need to head to Identity and Access Management, also known as IAM. Now that happens to be in my recently visited services here, but uh, the easiest way to find it is just to come to the search bar and type in IAM, click on it, and it'll take you where you need to be. Now there's a lot going on with IAM. It is a massive beast in and of itself, so much so that I have an entire course uh, dedicated to it. So because of that, we're not going to be going into the specifics or the concepts. We're going to be just going through the motions to get what we need out of it and leaving it at that. So let's head over into users and we're going to click on add user. And for the username, I'm going to use vault admin user. And for the access type, we're going to do programmatic access. And you can do console access. We won't be using it, but I'll go ahead and turn it on anyways. And then how you deal with the passwords, you know, that's entirely up to you. I'm going to just use a custom password here. And then move forward into next permissions. So in permissions, we're going to click on attach existing policy directly. We're actually going to use the administrator access. Now, if this was a user that was being used beyond your Terraform project, right? Beyond your local, where you're managing it from your machine as the admin setting this up, this is probably a little bit too much of uh, too many permissions. But since no one else is going to be using this, you know, it's not that big of a deal, especially if this is your account and you are the admin. Um, but anyhow, let's move on to next tags, and we're not going to add any tags. And then finally, on to review. Uh, as for the review, there's not everything looks good here, and I'm going to go ahead and click Create User. Now, once this is done, don't leave the screen. Don't 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 hop ahead. <laughs> we need something in here, and if you leave the screen, you're going to have to go back and reset a bunch of stuff. What we're going to do here is click on this download.csv. This .csv file or this CSV file has all the credentials in it that we're going to use to set up our the AWS command line interface. So with that downloaded, we can now close it. And I'm gonna hop over to my shell. And we are going, I know that for a fact that this has been downloaded to my downloads folder. Now, depending on your operating system, that may be somewhere else, but for me, it's right there. So I'm going to move it from downloads right to here. And with that done, we are now set up to configure the AWS profile. Now, what is or not the profile? Configure the AWS command line interface. Now, what does that mean? Well, what that means is with the AWS command line interface, whenever you run a command, it looks for credentials and then uses those credentials to make the calls to AWS. Pretty straightforward, right? Now, it would be kind of annoying if you could only have one set of credentials because a lot of people that work with AWS, you work with multiple accounts, uh, multiple users within those accounts. Um, so just being confined to one would be a headache. So they have this idea of what are called profiles. And profiles are something that allow you to group or to separate credentials and, and use them whenever you want, right? So um, let's. this will make more sense uh, when we do it. So to set up the AWS command line interface with credentials, we run a command called AWS configure. But we don't have the credentials yet, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just print these credentials to my screen, and this is going to be what we use to configure it. So I'm gonna run AWS configure. Now you can run this as this, and if you do this, it's going to set up a default profile. That default profile will be used whenever you don't pass anything else out. Like by default, if you ask it to describe EC2 instances, it's going to assume that you just wanna use whatever credentials you give it without anything else here. So running this is the equivalent of doing this. That's the exact same. However, I'm gonna be very specific with this and I'm gonna make a profile named Vault Admin. Now again, if this is a little uh, over your head, don't worry about it. Again, we're just going through the motions to get what we need. But this is going to create a specific profile uh, that we can use to call for these particular credentials when we want to. And this will make more sense here in a second. So I'm gonna run this and it's gonna ask for the access key ID. Well, it's just right here, I'm gonna put it in. 
Next, it's going to ask for the secret access key, which is just right here. So I'm gonna grab that and drop it in as well. And then for the default region, I'm actually gonna put in US East 1. And if you're following along, you don't really know AWS all that well, just stick with this. Uh, because everything that we do needs to be in the exact same region, which is uh, just a collection of uh, data centers um, geographically that, that AWS has all over the world. So for default output format, I'm actually gonna leave that as none uh, and just leave that as is. So with that done, we actually have the command line interface uh, all set up and ready to go. So what does it mean when I say, just, just to clarify profiles here, what I mean by that is if I could go here and I say AWS EC2 describe instances. So this is a command that will grab all the, the EC2 instances. And if I just run it like this, it is not going to use this user and it's not going to use uh, the vault the vault admin user or this account it's going to use whatever it is whatever credentials i pass to aws configure uh, without this profile thing however if i were to do add profile vault admin well when i do this it knows that when i'm running this command that i want to use these set this set of credentials and this set of options so if i run this We'll see nothing comes back because I haven't made any EC2 instances at all. However, if you have other profiles, like some other profile that maybe you set up as well, well, of course, this is going to tell me there's there's <laughs> no profile uh, with that information. So anyhow, that's uh, just a quick crash course on uh, profiles. So, but but if you're just following along and you don't really understand AWS, I would just stick with what I did here. Okay, so, and with that, the AWS command line interface is all ready to go. And furthermore, since we've set it up, we can use Terraform to do all the things in AWS now as well, because it just gets its credentials from the exact same place that the AWS command line interface gets theirs, theirs as well.